everybody, I'm Chris. This here is Tilly, and welcome to the Coffee Fuel Woodsman Channel. It's March 8th, 2024. Um, I had to work today, so we're late getting in the woods, but here we are, we made it. We're not so far from home. We're meeting Johnny, come here, bud. We're meeting Johnny Specka, which is his dog, and Dave is coming to join us for this trip. Um, I'm just waiting for them to come down that hill behind me. We're on kind of a, a four-wheeler trail slash a lot of people hike here. I've hiked here before. And uh, there's a river that runs right beside us. Unfortunately, there's also a highway that runs close enough that I can hear it pretty well right now, which is not my favorite, but we don't have a lot of time and we figured we'd go you know, somewhere close. So we may venture down this river, try to find a spot along it, or I'm not really sure. Not sure how we're going to do it. This is only going to be in a one night trip, so uh, we have MREs for tonight and we're going to have a big breakfast in the morning and then pack her up and head home. So I, I've got some sad news also to share. I was planning on going on a winter trip this year. However, uh, my dad took ill and he's since passed away a couple of weeks ago now. Um, so I had to take some time off work for that. It was, it was not a fun time. He's 74, but you never, even if you're preparing yourself, you can never really prepare. So today's going to be a lot about uh, just enjoying the time in the woods and try not to think too much. Try to recharge. Yeah. I packed 58 pounds this time. I got quite a few superfluous items. It's about zero degrees right now, so 32 Fahrenheit, and um, it's cool, it's damp. So I've got some extra clothes that I probably am not gonna need, but it better be comfortable than not. Anyway, with that, uh, I think we'll just sit here and wait, and probably throw some sticks. Come on, Till. Come on, you two, come on. Good. All right, the boys are here. Johnny and Dave and Speck of the, the little, little eel. Um, we're not gonna go here. We're gonna continue on trail further up the river because it's, uh, it's gonna be probably a little nicer. So we're gonna get started. We found a spot, Let's see if I can show you around a bit. I'm gonna go right behind here. And then Johnny's, geez, so I just got his tent body up over there. We're on a hemlock ridge. Davey boy's right there. Dogs are having a good time. It continues just to go around. Uh, we wanted to be by the water and we had to abandon that. It's just not possible. Like. It was either too rooty or too wet or too, there was just always something or the wind was just ripping. Now the wind does come up in this spot a little bit, but it won't be too bad. Uh, this is a tent trip for Tilly and I because I knew it was gonna be minus two overnight or minus three maybe, what is that, 27 degrees Fahrenheit. And um, anyway, I just wanted her to be in with me. So the new dog Sprout is still, we don't really wanna bring him out yet. We're just worried. He doesn't have his Brevecto shot, so no, tick and lime coverage and uh, he'd be a lot of work honestly I'd have to have him on the leash the whole time because I still don't trust him not to just run away and go into the woods somewhere so I'm gonna get set up and then we'll talk after
as normal. I'm always slow getting everything together. Johnny has uh, already went and got water. I got to get this Nemo Tensor insulated pad blown up. And because I want to kind of move on to more leisurely aspects of camp. Yeah, the boys I see are working at trying to get a fire going. I'm going to get this together. I'm on a bit of a dip here. I laid down on it though and it felt comfortable just from laying down. It's not going to be like sleeping at home this time, but it should be pretty good. No, 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 girl. But my brother got me this Tilly tech wool hat and it's got drop down ears so it should last me I'll probably be able to wear it till bed I got some of uh, my knit hats from Claire for nighttime and Matt turned me on to this Mech's Deluxe so Mech is Mountain Equipment Co-op here in Canada I don't know if they have it in the States and it's a deluxe pillow I can get it out. so it's got I think an air bladder as well as the top of it is that soft stuff. So it's the extra large one. Don't know about the colors, but it was on sale for like $34 Canadian. I don't even know what that is in American, but it's cheap Canadian. So. Gosh, that is, that's immense. That's gonna be nice. Tilly, no, leave it. Jeez. Not a toy. All right. Gotta go help out the boys. Struggling a little bit with the fire, <laughs> but it looks like I might have it going there now. Maybe. Um, the boys are opening up their, their MREs. So Dave has Indian chicken. Johnny, what do you got? Chicken jambalaya. And can you put mine out of there, the brown bag at the top there? Dave's never opened one of these of his own, so this is his first one. Uh, I'm trying to get rid of mine. Um, that uh, were given to me. I can't remember if these ones, the one that I got right now might be from Andy or might be from uh, a friend of mine there. So I can't remember. But uh, yeah, figured we might as well do that. We didn't have a whole lot of time. It's 5.15 already. So I think we're gonna build a tripod, boil up the MREs inside the 22 cup uh, percolator I got. Now I gotta go tend the fire and uh, get my stuff going. Right now, I always have one of these on my backpack. And I'm gonna tie those pole together with this gun gun line, I guess it's called. And then I'm gonna suspend the coffee pot off that carabiner. All right, so uh, a few things to talk about. One is uh, with everybody's combined effort, we got that fire going. And there's that tripod I was telling you about, and that's working great. Uh, second thing to talk about. I uh, carved out this birch cup recently. I got the wood when I was home over Christmas off of mom and dad's property. So that'll remind me of better times. And finally, maybe not finally, there's two more things. Johnny brought me some Guinness because it's St. Patrick's Day when? Soon. Uh, next, all right, next week. So we're gonna drink that. And while I was away, up tending to me folks, Johnny, uh, we had a snowstorm down here in Halifax. And Johnny uh, brought his youngest down to my house, stole my snowblower, and uh, snowblowed my driveway and stuff, which was a huge help. So for that, I got him this. I should just, sorry, this is really rude. Here, Johnny, I got you this. 
Oh, so that's Teeling's oh. Irish whiskey, which honestly, when I bought it, I wasn't thinking about St. Patrick's Day, and then he said he was getting some beer for us because of St. Patrick's Day. Well, Dave, and uh, we got yeah, work to do. Oh, so now we got some whiskey. This is going to be christened tomorrow morning. It's never had hot water in it, so uh, I'm interested to see if it'll crack or not. I'm hoping it won't. It shouldn't. It's birch, but uh, we'll know tomorrow morning because I'm going to put coffee in it. I just thought I'd bring it over and show the camera while it's light. Okay, uh, my supper time meal, and I'm going to use the knife that Matt gave me for the channel because it is definitely more bushcrafty than my trout and bird. I do like that trout and bird knife, but it's just not quite as, it's not robust enough. Look at the chef at work. Johnny's cooking supper tonight. Yeah. Maybe I'll show you a couple of things. This again to my brother for the hat. It's actually working out perfect. Peanut butter and banana trail mix. Some kind of dessert. Date squares. That, that's getting open. Andy, if you're still watching my videos, you know which Andy. Myers Bar. I wonder how expired it is. So it comes with a hamburger bun, obviously. Uh, Johnny, vanilla drink mix. Oh, you got it. Oh, right. Woohoo! For for anyone that watched that. Dave and Johnny and I's trip to what was the name of the lake? Molasses. Mitchell Lake, wasn't it? For anybody who watched that, um, we thought that was going to be disgusting. It looked disgusting, and it was amazing. Okay, so Johnny's got uh, a new set of mitts. Johnny, let's see your new mitts. Okay, what were you saying about them? Uh, inspired by Claire, I lost her previous gray set at a previous canoe trip. Yeah. So Denise made, oh, Denise made me these red ones. Nice. <laughs> All right, Johnny tells us it's time for supper. So uh, I'm gonna try to get this on video. Oh goodness, that doesn't really, well, you know what, I'm just gonna pour it out. It doesn't look like a lot of stuff. So and I gotta share it with the pup a bit, although she had her supper, whoop, that came out fast. There we go. Supper is uh, poured. This is against the rules and it's cheating, but I got uh, shredded cheese for breakfast. I need a real weapon. I'm gonna get it. With bacon, cheese and bacon. What a weird supper. You know what, my Tilly pup is gonna love licking the plate after I'm done. This is living though. It may not, may or may not seem it, but it is living. Just trying to keep it close so we can keep it warm. So I stuck it in a Crown Royal bag and it came right off my back. You know what? Mine is really good. It's just, uh, I think if I was going to have it again, I'd almost plan to bring a real piece of bread or something like, you know what I mean? With, with uh, I don't know, maybe even sauerkraut or something. But the smoked meat is actually really good. Oh. Thanks, Johnny. Did you want any, Dave? Do you want to try it? No, I'm good, thanks. Dave's not a big drinker. Oh, and finally, this is my contribution to supper. It's a brioche bun. It's only from Sobeys, but uh, Claire and I have been having them every now and again, and they're actually really good. Johnny's got his Kit Kat here. I forgot to show it. We're going to eat it. We don't know how long it's expired, but we're going to eat it. My wife brought this home for me from North Carolina. You stay. You say you're not getting any. Kraft Dinner Gummies. Well, that's what I think it is. Yeah, mac and cheese. Kraft Mac and Cheese Gummies. Now, it says fruit flavor, <laughs> but we're going to find out. Oh, All right, here we go. Oh. Oh, that's a hard... Oh my goodness. The flavor is not actually bad. I don't know what it is. It's not the flavors. Maybe it's because they're too cold. Probably like minus one right now. 
What do you think? What's the verdict? Strange. <laughs> I can't taste it yet. I don't either. I'm, I'm going to have to take some wine. of these home. I can't really taste anything. I'm going to have to take them home to Claire so she can uh, try them and tell me exactly what they're like. They're not terrible. All right, well, even though I said at about 6.30, I was kind of too tired and I didn't know if I'd make it <laughs> much longer. Uh, made it right till 10.30 or so. So this is nice. On a bit of a hollow here. It's going to be interesting if we how we sleep, but kind of enjoy the tent like doesn't matter how kind of windy it is outside it feels quite still in here that I don't get with the hammock the hammock it's sort of if it's windy you're kind of feeling the wind blow over you so in here I can kind of sit with just you know a little less covering me and still feel okay but I think I'm gonna get into my long sleeve icebreaker wool stuff and get ready for bed so tomorrow we're going to have a big breakfast and then just leisurely pack up and head back out. Uh, this was more about just getting out in the woods for a quick recharge and see Johnny and Dave, I guess, uh, have a have a catch up because I haven't seen them in a while. Anyway, I'm going to start shutting everything down, getting in some more comfortable stuff for sleeping. Anyway, we'll see you in the morning. After eight now we got up around six and went for a, a quick pee um, she heard Dave get up to do the same so that's why we both got up and then she went back out at about seven and then she came back in and we've been kind of snuggling under the under the quilt ever since so uh, it's supposed to it's probably about minus two right now and it's supposed to warm up to, I don't know, like plus seven by noon. So we're just gonna move slow and let it warm up on its own out there. But I don't think I can sleep anymore, so I think I'm gonna get up and go out and probably try to build a fire. All right, might as well show you what's outside. Shall we go? Shall we go? Come on, let's go. Turns out that uh, campfires in Dyneema do not mix. Uh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> How'd you sleep? Good. This is pretty, eh? There. <laughs> I know. It's like landmines. We need these for heat. Okay, we got the Java going, and it's time for me to use this bad boy. So I'm going to get Johnny to pour me a cup and I'm going to put my gloves on because with these things, they could crack. I've been thinking about this for like two weeks. Uh, okay, Johnny, if you could pour it right there. Let's hope it doesn't crack. A little bit of grinds and just to there, just to there. All right. What tends to happen with a cup? with a carved wood cup is it'll split typically here 
sometimes on, on the backs here, just by the way you always carve, the grain, the wood is always going in this direction and that's the way the grain will sometimes go. This will be the first drink. Oh, nutty tongue oil. <laughs> I'm gonna try to capture some of the beautiful views that I've got, not of Johnny. Dave's cool looking tent back there. Look at the light in the trees, it's beautiful. Now these are mostly hemlocks and so they get huge. We're in a good spot. We're gonna use Dave's grate today. He says it's only been used once. And Maybe twice. Maybe twice. Yeah. And you said these are the bargain sausage? And these are the highest end <laughs> sausage they make at Shea Sobeys. <laughs> Uh, so Dave got himself a Christmas present that I'm going to share with you. If it, you can see it through the smoke. What is it there, Dave? Dave, oh, Dave, Dave, gloves. Dave proof cut your finger gloves. Oh, so it's a, car a carving kit then, is it? Yep. Oh, that's cool. I think I left them in too long. <laughs> That's a lot of hash browns. They, I think they turned up so far. Those hash browns. So. Okay, they'll go on the warming rack. I haven't perfected the art of the one hand crack yet. <laughs> Let's see if this works. Uh, I think there's still quite a bit in there actually. Shouldn't you put your hash browns on first? Where's my spatula? Let me. Uh, let me serve you. Now for the bacon bit cheese. <laughs> Perfect. We got a lot of it off my camera. Oh, no, that's good. I guess I'll get the cheese. And you know what you should do is uh, sprinkle the cheese in there. I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to like smash my egg up into this because, oh. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Is that barbecue sauce? No, it's ketchup. Wait. <laughs> it is. I got barbecue sauce and ketchup by accident here. What time is it? It's 11 o'clock. Holy shoot. Oh, we're laughing. That's a good time. You know what, though? I mean, we're out in the woods. It's more like we don't have to have lunch now. None of us were starving at 6 a.m., so this is good. Packages like, feel it. It's packages like fused together. Yeah. You can throw that right in the fire. Everybody's packing everything up. I'm going to just slurp this last bit of coffee. It's uh, 11.30, I think. Somebody needs to be home by 1. No, that got cancelled. Oh, okay. Anyway, okay. their tents are already down. Mine is not. So I'll go do that. High temperature right now. No oh, cracks. Not cold anymore. Happy about that.
All right, well, that's pretty much it. Uh, I've got most of my stuff packed up. There's just a couple of things left to do. Um, fire in the pack, take my chair apart. It's uh, been a really good mental health break to get out here in the woods. Uh, kind of had a lot going on. So, uh, yeah, it was perfect time to get out, even though it's just short. Sometimes the short ones are the best ones. Yeah, so when we got here last night, we were a little bit concerned just because it was so damp and dark down there, but, and it was windy and cold, but we stuck through it. We were all up pretty late um, for us and all had a great time. And today made it even more worth it. So we're glad, uh, glad we got out, eh, bub? Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. If you want to click like and subscribe, go ahead. If not, no big deal. Thanks for watching to this point and hopefully see you soon. Let's get going. Let's get going. Look at this. First one with her backpack on. I don't know why you guys are so slow. <laughs> <laughs>